I think we're all going to remember where we were when we saw the first images yesterday. And we're going to look now live at the Notre Dame Cathedral, one of the most famous churches in all of the world, a symbol of Paris, a site 13 million visited each year, still standing after that devastating fire. Survived the French Revolution, survived World mm -hmm. War II. It has survived this fire as well, but the flames destroyed so much. We saw that spire come down. The roof collapsed as well. Here's what it used to look like inside, and here's what it looks like right now. But there is a symbol of hope there. Take a look. The cross and the altar still intact, surviving the flames and the falling debris. Hundreds of people gathered to pray and to sing last night and this morning the city of Paris is promising to rebuild as crews assess the extent of the damage. We're learning about incredible acts of heroism. Our foreign correspondent James Longman is there on the scene in Paris with the latest. Good morning James. Hi Robin, yeah, good morning. This really was a catastrophic fire. Take a look, everywhere you can see sky just above the main structure of that building, that is where the roof was and it has all but totally collapsed inside the building. And this morning we're watching investigators take a look, making sure that those towers are structurally sound. It really is a miracle that this building wasn't more badly damaged. This morning, Paris, the city of lights, still dazed after a massive blaze ravaged historic Notre Dame Cathedral, the more than 800-year-old heart of the French capital. Searing images as the cathedral glowed from within. In this one, you can see the gaping hole in its once majestic ceiling. French officials say the fire began at around 6.50 p.m. local time, but spread quickly. Just um, standing on our, our balcony, we, you can smell it in the air. It, it's, it's, I mean, it's happening right in front of us. And then this moment of horror, Notre Dame's iconic spire crashing down. Paris, the world, could only look on in despair. <laughs> Part of the roof also collapsing, American student Kelly Weymouth took this video of that catastrophic moment. We started seeing parts of it just kind of fall off of it, and everyone was like, oh, that's, it's going to come down, like there's no way it's stable enough to stay up. So people were recording and I just happened to get the moment where it just collapsed and you can hear everyone just go gasp. It was really, really sad. Onlookers stunned, some unable to hold back tears as the fire raged on. It, you could really smell that it was old wood that was burning and the heat, I was 150, 200 metres on the opposite bank of the Seine and you could just feel the heat coming off towards you. Nearly 500 firefighters battling huge flames in a race to save what they could of the 13th century cathedral. The blaze engulfed scaffolding from a $6 million renovation project. Investigators are looking into whether a construction worker could have accidentally sparked the inferno. By nightfall, five hours later, the fire was contained and news came that the main structure and its iconic towers were safe, but trepidation over what damage would be discovered inside. The cathedral is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world, attracting 13 million foreign visitors every year. But this is the heart and soul of France. So now, three hours later, it's just sadness and despair. It's like a mother to me in a way, so I really had the impression that my mother was being taken from me and I was very sad. And while firefighters were trying to beat the flames from outside, Deep within the cathedral, a human chain was formed to salvage priceless art and religious relics like the crown of thorns and the tunic of St. Louis. The mayor of Paris tweeting out this picture showing just some of the major works that were rescued. French President Emmanuel Macron emotional as he addressed the nation outside. The worst was avoided even if the battle has not been completely won. This cathedral, we will rebuild it. Crowds gathered outside the cathedral in prayer and song in this Easter week. Paris hopes its most cherished monument will rise from the ashes once more. And this morning we're hearing some extraordinary tales of bravery, including the chaplain of the Paris Fire Brigade who rushed in there to save some of the most important religious relics. This man, by the way, involved in saving people during the Bataclan attack, and he managed to save the crown of thorns. That's thought worn. Christians believe, by Jesus as he 
lay dying uh, on the cross. So really some extraordinary stories this morning, but a lot of work is going to be needed to rebuild this place and $300 million has already been pledged uh, from people across France, but also around the world. Everyone hoping that this building can be restored to its former glory. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.